Does a mortgage pre-approval ruin your credit score? That is a question I have been asked repeatedly lately. Hi, I'm Jamie Hartman with New Root South Jersey. I'm here with Ryan Goldberg of Guaranteed Rate, and he's gonna answer a lot of our main mortgage questions. So Ryan, does a mortgage pre-approval ruin your credit? Oh, Jamie, thanks for having me. Um, I appreciate it. And that is a huge question that I got asked often as well. Uh, no, it's not going to ruin your credit. A credit check for a mortgage pre-approval is going to drop your score a few points, uh, anywhere from five to 10 points. But you can make that back up after one month of paying your bills on time. And uh, it really isn't going to ruin your credit at all. Great, and while we're on the topic, what is a mortgage pre-approval? So uh, mortgage pre-approval, great question. It's, uh, it's me taking a look at all of your finances, making sure that I can get you qualified for the mortgage that you're looking for. I look at your income, I look at your debts, I look at your credit history. Uh, and your assets, and I make sure what your debt to income ratios are and that you can afford the home that you're looking to try and buy. Great, and it's even more important now while listing agents are requiring a mortgage pre-approval in order to get into some houses. Yeah, it's very important. Um, it's the number one thing you should do before you actually go out there and look at houses, because uh, if you go out and see a house that you fall in love with, you want to be able to put an offer in right away in this hot market. If you don't, and you take some time to get pre-approved after the fact, it could make you miss out on a house. Absolutely. And while we're on the topic, a mortgage pre-approval will tell you exactly what type of financing you qualify for, but what would you say are the different types of financing? Yeah, so there's there's a few types of financing. Uh, the two main common ones are FHA and conventional financing. Uh, there's also USDA and VA financing as well. And what would you say are the main differences between conventional financing and FHA financing? Yeah, um, yeah so conventional financing requires, um, well, I'm sorry, will not require mortgage insurance if you put 20% down. FHA financing is going to require mortgage insurance either for a certain amount of years or for the entire life of the loan. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for answering my questions. Again, I'm Jamie Hartman with New Roots South Jersey. This is Ryan Goldberg with Guaranteed Rate. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions. Bye.